another month, another favorites video. I am so excited, but these months seem to just be flying by so fast that I am like, how does these people have enough favorites to keep going each month? So if I don't do a favorites next month, it might be because I don't have a lot of new favorites. Like, I shop a lot, but to find new products that you genuinely love and want to like advertise and say go buy this product each month is extremely hard actually. Um, plus I have been saving my money for a bigger bigger purchase slash investment in the future. So I have not been shopping as much as I normally would. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but um, I do have a few beauty products and a couple, mostly random. You guys know I'm like a random uh, video kind of girl. But um, so anyways, we'll just get right into it. Um, the first thing, I guess, I always like to start with what I'm wearing slash showing off in the video. And uh, that would probably be, well, the shirt and the extensions. But let's just start with the extensions first. Um, these are Bellamy hair extensions, which I love. These are the 22-inch, um, 220-gram pack in the color 613. And I am so obsessed with it. Um, if you guys watched my video on it, you guys know that I have had to not put as many ex individual extensions in my hair as I would like just because I'm trying to let some of my hair grow and just breathe without being bleached or having extensions pulling on it. Um, so I like to wear the clip-ins when I'm going out or when I'm filming or when I have like a special event or something to give me that big hair that I like without having to pull on it day after day, putting it up when I sleep, when I run, the tension when I'm washing it in the shower. So um, this is the Bellamy hair. I only about have about half of the pack actually in my head now, um, but it's there and it's bellamyhair.com and um, like I mentioned you get uh, a discount if you want to use my code Trish you don't have to use my code Trish no one is forcing you um, but I'm kind of obsessed with these hair extensions and like I'm dying for it also this shirt I know these things are so like whatever you see them everywhere but I actually kind of love it because it's like so comfortable and it's this geek top from top shop but it is a crop top and it's just really, really comfortable. I like to wear it with, um, like, jean overalls when I go out. I got jean overalls from Topshop that I'm, like, obsessed with. That should be in the favorites, but they're in the laundry, so it can't be a favorite. Um, <laughs> so let's just go then into beauty, since that's what most of you like as the beauty products. So my hair has been a nightmare, but it's getting better. It's getting to be less of a nightmare. So if you guys don't know, I've had mm, some breakage at the top of my hair, but it's getting so much better. For those of you who are like, oh, my God, the top of your hair looks so awful. You guys should have seen it like three months ago. Like it literally was this much hair sticking straight up. So now it's at least growing and laying flat and I'm just having to pin back my bangs. I love bows. I have been wearing a lot of bows lately. That also should have been a favorite but um, I just have it pinned back today so it's kind of like a no bang look for me for a while. Um, but what I've been doing is one, only washing my hair once a week and only blow drying it once a week. And then on my off days, I try not to uh, do any heat on the top of my hair, but rather just let it either go natural or, you know, maybe just curl the bottoms to make this look like it's doing something up here. Um, and what I've been doing when I either apply heat or after the shower or even just styling, I've been using this Redken Anti-Snap. Um, leave-in conditioner sort of thing. I apply to dry and towel dry and wet hair, so I don't know if that's the intended purpose, but I do. It also keeps it down, so if you have like flyaways or broken hair that won't stay down, this is a good way to keep it down so it's not sticking out and making you look like a crazy person, which is what I look like most of the time. So, um... I actually really love this stuff. I've noticed such a difference since using it this month. I do love the It's a 10 as well, and I switch back and forth between the two, but um, I just have heard really great things about this, and I can testify that this is kind of a miracle product because I know it's definitely been helping my hair grow. That and switching hairstylists. <laughs> so now going into makeup, um, I used this in my summer makeup tutorial. Oh, I did the pinks and purples, and this is the BB Cream by Garnier, and it's just probably the most amazing thing ever. It's uh, medium deep, and this is what I wear on a daily basis, not when I'm filming because I film in front of a window so the light is really harsh on my face, so I like it to have a little more coverage. This is like medium coverage, but it's as far as a BB cream goes, it's going to be like the heaviest coverage you get. I think it goes on really beautifully. You don't need powder or setting spray. It's just this, and I love it, and I'm obsessed with it. 
Um, what I am wearing on my face today is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, which is the best foundation in the history of any full coverage foundation for oily skins. And I'm obsessed. They have a million bajillion colors at Sephora, so I highly recommend you go in and either test it on your hand or get someone to test it on your face because trying to buy this stuff online is just never going to work. I actually have three shades of this, but this is the shade I use the most, and this is in uh, M56. But there's like a million and one shades. There's like ones for yellow tones and pink tones and all this stuff like that. So check it out. Kat Von D Locket Foundation, probably the most amazing thing to ever happen to my skin, and I love it, and it does not break me out. In fact, I've noticed my skin actually clearing up. I mean, I know it probably has to do with like, skincare too, but uh, it does not break out your skin, which is great. Um, and then going on to my favorite lipstick of the month is this YSL lipstick, which is what I'm wearing now, and I'm wearing nothing else on it. And it is in the number, it's Rouge Volup Shine, and I think it's number two. Or is it number six? Or is it number nine? I think it's number two. I don't know why it doesn't say, but I think it's number two, and it's something nude, even though it's not nude. It's just this really pretty mauve color. That's so weird. Maybe it's number nine? I swear it was number two. I don't know. It says number nine on the bottom, but I'm thinking it's number two. But just it's just this really nice mauve -y, but it goes on sort of almost nude, but it's good for us tan people because... If you get like Myth or Hue, which I love from MAC, it's going to make you look like a dead person. It makes me look like a dead person. Sometimes I watch my videos and I'm like, oof, that was not looking good. But I like this because this is a nice nude with a little bit of color for us colored skins, even though I'm not black, but I want to be, obviously. Um, so then I guess food products. Wow, I have quite a few food products, and that's kind of embarrassing. Um, but this is a good one. This is the Organic Mama Chia Chia Squeeze and Strawberry Banana, and I love these guys. This is a Vitality Snack, but sometimes I use these as meal replacements. Um, but I like it because it has a lot of, like, good vitamins. It's only 70 calories. It's got fiber. It's got all this great stuff that I don't get, and I kind of love it, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. You can get these. I got this at Whole Foods is where I found it, but I think you can get them on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Um, strawberry Banana is the only one I like. They have, like, berry ones. I don't particularly care for those, but Strawberry Banana is bomb. It tastes like an Orange Julius to me. It's so good. And then on the other end of the spectrum, super unhealthy, not organic, um... I got this from World Market, and it is a banana caramel pancake mix, and this stuff is, like, is, is heaven. This stuff's heaven. I mean, I, I can't even describe it. I don't even really love banana. I don't even love caramel, but together, banana caramel pancakes, I mean, it's worth the heart attack. <laughs> It's not worth our attack. That's such a bad thing to say. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's really good in, in moderation. Um, this I love. So I actually attempted to do a cooking video on macaroons. <laughs> it's not that they didn't turn out wonderful. They turned out okay. But the whole time I had my camera pointing so far down, like all you saw was my feet cooking. It was the stupidest thing ever. But I love this book. One, I just liked it for decoration. And it's called Macaroons, Cupcakes, and Cake Pops. And, uh, but actually I have some really good recipes. The only ones I've tried were the, uh, macaroons or macarons or however you say them. Um, and those were the raspberry ones, which I can't find right now. Um, but they also have, like, blueberry cupcakes and just, like, really, I don't know, really delicious. Like, everything looks delicious in here. There's nothing that does not look delicious. Um, so, like I said, again, it's good for decoration. Even this part of the book is really pretty. Um, or if you're just wanting to learn how to bake, because I am obsessed with, like, giving macaroons as gifts, but they're so expensive in stores, so I'm like, I can bake my own. First attempt was not good. Second attempt, I'm going to try and film again, and hopefully they'll be even better. But I love this book. I just think it has just the funnest treats in it. I don't know. I think it's just a cool, like, updated cooking book. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. So kind of in the same category as food food and drink are these cups that have caused so much controversy. My Starbucks Princess Bling Bling cups. Um, oh my gosh. Like, you guys saw these in my vlog and on Instagram. People were going crazy. One, they're like, oh my gosh, I spent $2,000 on the cups. No, I didn't. And even if I did, what's it to you? As long as I spent your money on the cups. And um, second of all, people were being like, I don't know. People were being so crazy over cups. Like... I spend money on cups. You might spend money on fancy TVs or phones. I don't, like, or cars. Like, I don't even, like, fix my car if, my like, my lock is broken right now. My car, I don't even fix that. I'm just like, nope, I'd rather spend my money on this. So, whatever. It makes me happy, okay? But I did not spend $2,000 on these cups. I think total, they were, like, three fifty dollars with shipping from China. Um, but these are um, handmade 
Swarovski crystals. So um, I have seen these on Pinterest and you can click on them and they're like $2,000 or something. But I don't know. Those, those must be like... I don't know what, cubic zirconia, I have no idea. But I found these on Etsy, and the shop name is Zoe Yu, and she is a wonderful little lady. Um, and I said in my vlog, it took six weeks to get shipping, and then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry that I upset you. And I wasn't upset by it, I was just saying it takes a little while for shipping, so don't like freak out if you don't get it. And she keeps in constant communication, like there was a Chinese holiday or something, and she emailed me and let me know that there was a delay on the shipping. So it's not like she's just like took my money and like I never heard from her until I got the cups but she was great and I I'm absolutely love it I take it to Starbucks and the Starbucks people flip their lids and I love it so I got a cold one and a hot one just because they were so I'm just so addicted to Starbucks it's like I don't know if it's like if you give a basketball fan tickets to the finals you know like the big championship game like it's just that exciting to me okay I have I don't know um then I had to get still kind of warm this <laughs> but I had to include my scentsy candle um I just did a full review on these as well so I don't need to go into too much detail but I'm obsessed with this I'm obsessed you remember that bar I showed you guys in the scentsy video um, which was filmed actually two weeks prior to when I filmed this. That bar just finally melted. It's still a little warm, so I don't want to whatever. But it just finally melted, and I, I, I warm this up every single day. And you just plug in. It's a little light. It's a, it just has a little lamp, a little light bulb in here. Heats up the wax and melts. So just these flameless candles. This owl is adorable. I got one for my sister as well. And this blueberry cheesecake it's just making me so hungry and so excited and I love it. So if you guys are interested in ordering Scentsy, I do have my own Scentsy shop if you would like to check that out. And then my final favorite of the month is my phone case. I'm so, I'm obsessed with phone cases too. And this one is from shopkitson.com. These are Swarovskis as well. And I just think it's gorgeous. It matches my iPad mini case. And look at the sparkles. Oh! Gorgeous. So that is it for my June favorites. Um, again, it's a little, it's a little small, but if I don't do one next month, it's probably because I just don't have enough favorites, and I'd rather give you guys a big favorites video than just a little. Unless you prefer, if you only, if I only have like four products to show, if you guys would still want to see those. Um, but I mention a lot of them in hauls and you know tutorials and whatever else I do anyways, outfit of the days, vlogs, whatever. So um, those are my favorites for June. If you guys do June favorites, as always, make sure you leave them as a video response below or just go ahead and put in the comments what you have been loving this month. And until next time, here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. Bye guys.